Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Factorio Not Points 12.4 campaign. So, note to self, um, be very careful when copying blueprints over that involve copper ore requesting. Because you might just have a situation where the robots go crazy and they bring all the copper ore across the factory over to here. Uh, and that can be bad. I'm still trying to clean it up. What are you robots doing? Yeah, they're having some issues. Yes, this is me picking up hundreds of robots from the air. I've really confused them. I don't understand what it is they're doing right now, but it's almost fixed. So we've got that going for us. And uh, I used a just a series of smart inserters to pull the, the actual like incorrect stuff off this line. I've never seen the Mac this way, though. This is really weird. In the end, I think it'll be worth it. So there's still, there's still robots that are, like, trying to bring copper here that are they're in line to be charged and so they got this command like 10 15 minutes ago and they're still trying to make good on it and uh so until this line all just gets cleaned up i've got to keep those smart inserters cleaning it out i changed it over also instead of 20,000 requester it's just 200 cuz that way hopefully fewer robots will be caught up on the same job doing the same Recharge location and stuff. Eventually this copper will get ferried where it belongs. <laughs> okay. It looks like this train is working properly again. That also means that I don't really need these requesters here. So I don't like excess things. Oh, I know why they're acting stupid. It's because there's no more storage chests. That's what's going on. I'll tell you what, for now, I know this is not next to where it's supposed to be, but there. Just store stuff here for now. Okay, this train station is finally operating somewhat properly. All this copper ore can't be used. Let's go see how we're doing on, uh, I don't know, stuff. All of the logistics robots are still being used. I think it's time at this point to just switch over to pure logistics robots. Didn't I already do that? Yeah, I did. For now, we're only making logistics robots. Gotcha. Okay, um... What was it that I needed? I was coming up here for... Four efficiency modules. Hell, yeah. Totally out of oil again. Okay, well, um, how about that, uh, follower robot count? Why not? Work on that.
See, the issue is that the robots should have been, like, caught up by now, but they... I didn't notice it for a few minutes, and they were trying to take all of the copper from here over to there, because I copied the blueprint, and the blueprint said that these were supposed to request 20,000 copper or each. So, that's part of the reason why I lowered it down to, um... To 1,500. Or, sorry, to 200. You know, I could do something like this, and then just have... A series of smart inserters that filter production as well. Just run it all through one big huge production area. Now smelt this stuff area. It's fine. Part of the issue is we've got 80,000 iron ore in storage and 57,000 copper ore in storage. Only 4.8k iron ore in storage. I suppose maybe the way we could get by that is to uh, just do a dedicated iron and copper logistics point. just smart inserter filter stuff in or I don't know if I really want to put a restriction on it though Passive provider seems fine. Um, what's a good number? I don't know. Ten thousand, I guess. start filtering some of it down, that, that'll help us keep smelting. But the thing is that if I don't get more oil, then nothing will end up doing anything. I can't believe how little oil there is. Alright, let's go hop in the car. I think that this stuff's gonna clean itself out eventually. It's working again, sort of. Where is the car? Probably near the oil, right? Yeah. Well, ages and ages ago, I was going to go out there and actually connect trains.
I'm gonna have to just request them, aren't I? And I'd say there's a pretty good chance that they're not gonna be able to bring them to me. I wonder where they've stored them. This is the most, the oldest one, so it's probably in here. Yep. At least there's so much crap stored up. Oh, it's just junk everywhere. You're like, where do we put it? We don't know where to put it. Should be enough. Let's go check out oil. See how that whole thing's doing. Looking forward to building a new factory at some point. Learning all the things that I've learned. You know, start off probably with an Omni station. I, I, I just like the idea of it better. I know that the robots are overloaded, but I think that if I had done it that way from the beginning, they would have been better off. There's just so much more you can do with a an Omni Depot. These things are totally full. Again, I should probably put down... Just more storage tanks up here. Drain this thing dry pretty darn quick. It's like 5,000 units of oil. We'll get our circuit production going again for a little bit. Oh, look at that. We're starting to get big spitters now. Not behemoths, but big ones. That's bad. Alright, while we're waiting... Right, the last time I was out here I was like, I need personal RoboPort, and then I went and I didn't didn't do it. Because if I had the personal RoboPort I could just build the the station. Well we'll keep on doing these oil trips until I can get the personal RoboPort. That'll be the very next thing we do. Do do Maybe. Get the oil. Okay, off we go. Just throw this robot out here, what will happen? Haha, he's gotta fly home. Poor little guy. Ouch. That was karma. <laughs> I'm glad the car doesn't just like explode when you run into things. Because I do certainly run into things. 
It's a lot easier to drive if you zoom in. Okay, we need more efficiency modules. Probably do need more more defense. All right, let's start thinking about this. What's it going to take to get the power armor mark two? Fifty alien artifacts, speed and efficiency module threes. I think I've already researched those up. Yep, speed three, efficiency three. We didn't do productivity three yet, but we can we can work on that. Um, okay, so let's work on doing the power armor mark two. So, 40 processing units. Let's get processing units going. This requires sulfuric acid. We do sulfuric acid right there. This is probably going to be a robot only endeavor. Let's just say we're going to make processing units right here. We have our sulfuric acid. You'll request some advanced circuits and stuff. Hey, look at that. Logistics robots are still totally being used by everything. Construction robots are all done, though. So we got that going for us. Really anything that takes up any kind of oil, I just need to throw productivity modules into. Even though these ones get access to the iron first, these are the ones that run. So we'll get those ones going. Try to reduce our pollution and power just a little bit. Oh god. Completely failed to connect these because this was off by one. Currently spending power. Because it's becoming night. How much you want to bet we run out of power? Partially because we didn't have the batteries running. The accumulators. I don't believe advanced circuits are even being added to the network anywhere. But I kind of need them, so we're just going to, right at the source, we're going to cut off half and say that these belong to me. Or at least to the network.
And that, that way they can at least be used for advanced like processing units, which we'll never have too many of. But leaving an uncapped thing has not helped me. Not worked out well in the past, so perhaps I should cap it. Okay, so that'll give us the processing units. The other thing that we need for the Power Armor Mark II is uh, 50 alien artifacts. You find it interesting how the uh, power, armor, power Armor requires electric engine units. Power Armor Mark II doesn't. Isn't that kind of strange? I'm looking for something. What am I looking for? Alien artifacts. Looks like we're all out of alien artifacts. So in order to create this thing, we'll have to go kill them. So the one drawback to having all the storage this far away is that when they reach the point where... See, now maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe they do need to have 20,000 requester so that they never, never try to take them a long distance. We want them to just do the thing where they ferry it back and forth really quickly. These guys are all running out of power trying to take it from there to storage. And that is part of the issue. Meanwhile, these things aren't, don't really have that much in them. Okay, yeah, well... 20,000 is maybe better, we'll see. Alright, cool, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.